Hi, welcome back to this tutorial and today we are going to continue our tutorial last week and we are going to cover how you can add these flight icons in your Google Data Studio tables. So without further ado, let's get into it. First of all, you will need to add a calculated field. So right now, Data Studio has changed the UI, so it makes adding a calculated field slightly more troublesome. So basically, you have to click on this data source and scroll down until the bottom of the data source and click Add a Field. Now, I'm pasting a formula. So basically, this formula helps us to build the URL link that will help us to get the flag images. This flag images is actually hosted by this website. If you have a country ISO code or you're using Google Analytics data, then you can use this method. For my example today, I'm using Google Analytics. So Google Analytics already have this country ISO code that we can just use it but we will need to do some transformation so first we are transforming the ISO code to lower case so that's why we are using a lower function then we are going to combine with this URL and don't forget the .png extension to indicate the image file here we are using the concat function to help us combine all the text strings so it will build the exact URL that point us to the images. How we know the URL is by clicking on the image and then from the browser you can see the URL link. So basically the formula earlier is just to help us build this link. So now I'm going to give this a name, say calculated flag image and click finished. And if I look for this calculated fill and I'm going to go to this table and add this to our dimension. And after that, you will need to click on this icon under the type, change this to URL and select image. Now you can see that the flag is being shown as image in the table. You can position it to the front so that it will show up in the first column. And you can resize it by adjusting the width of the column. If you want it to be smaller, you can just adjust the width. We can also rename the header title as you can see now it's being truncated. So what I would do is to add an emoji as the header. And yeah, that's all for the tutorial and I hope you'll find it useful. Last but not least, I want to give credits to this blog post as I figured this out using this blog post. I'll put the link in the description below so you can refer to it. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.